It is understood that the early days of Retro Studios before they released Metroid Prime were a nightmare. The studio was marred by bad management and leadership, by a president who wasn't there most of the time, and a company split up to work on multiple projects at once that would be released as launch titles for Nintendo's upcoming GameCube. However, the company was not prepared to handle this task at first, with no GameCube dev kits on hand at the time, and even getting a dev kit didn't help, as a massive company of 200 plus employees all had to share that one kit. It wasn't until Nintendo intervened that Retro managed to course correct onto a proper path, which was to focus on developing Metroid Prime, although this did come at the cost of their other titles being cancelled to focus on developing the game. But what were those other games that got cancelled? Well, that's what we are here to find out. Today on Bayou Quest, we're going to look at the Lost Retro Studios GameCube titles, specifically Retro Studios Football and Thunder Rally. Although Retro Studios had four projects being worked on at the time, one of them, the Action Adventure Project, was previously discussed in the Metroid Prime video, and the other one, the action RPG called Ravenblade, will be discussed in a future episode, since that game is more complicated to talk about and there's a lot more stuff to discuss with that game. But anyway, on to the games. The first project we're going to look at is Retro Studios Football, which began development in 1998 at the very start of Retro Studios' time in existence. The game was being created as an American football simulator in the style of the Madden games, but boasted impressively realistic models, animations, and graphics for the time. The game also featured the expected multiple selectable teams one would expect in a football game, although these videos also showcased the ability to put on and take off parts of your gear too. For some reason, I don't really know what that was for. There were also rumors that the game would have also featured the ability to create your own player, which would have been cool, I guess. Originally, the project was conceived to be a football spin-off to the Mario series, which would have been somewhat interesting, as Mario never had an American football game before or since. At least as far as I know, as I don't really play Mario sports games aside from tennis and golf. However, Nintendo was uninterested in the idea, as Retro Studios was specifically created to develop more mature experiences for the company, so the project was quickly transformed into a realistic football simulator instead. However, after two years of development struggles due to the lack of good management and preparation for the task of creating GameCube launch titles, resulting in little progress being made, Retro Studios Football would ultimately be cancelled to put in more resources and focus into both Ravenblade and Metroid Prime. Would this game be missed? Eh, I guess so, but let's be real. I think more people will be into Madden than this game. Maybe as a Mario football game, it could have worked out, but probably not this. Interestingly enough, due to this game and the upcoming Thunder Rally being cancelled before the GameCube's launch, footage and pictures were leaked online shortly after Space World 2000, giving the world the first images of real GameCube game footage. Well, some of them, some of them. This would result in a little battle between publications trying to get their hands on the footage and pictures to try and take advantage of hype surrounding the GameCube, with Retro Studios Football proving to be the more impressive of the two. Speaking of, let's take a look at the final game for today, Thunder Rally. Unfortunately, very little information exists about this project, other than it existed and got cancelled. Again, to focus resources on Ravenblade and Metroid Prime, and because no progress was made on this game. Okay, I'm being hyperbolic. There was progress being made, but it didn't really get very far. What we do know about this game is that it was developed under the working title of Car Combat, and was going to be a vehicle combat simulator in the style of Twisted Metal and Vigilante 8. Two of the only known screenshots we have of this game are believed to be pre-renders, showcasing the game's setting as a... Uh, post-apocalyptic wasteland, I guess? Taking place in both a western-looking setting and an industrialized location. This screenshot is likely the only known in-game screenshot of Thunder Rally, showcasing cars driving in a same environment, and that's about it. Again, virtually no information exists on Thunder Rally, which could be an indication that this game was the least developed of the four games at the time. And like Retro Studios Football, the aforementioned screenshots were leaked shortly after Space World 2000 after the game's cancellation, 
and as I implied before, it proved to be the least impressive of the two, but the screenshots still provide some intrigue for those into the GameCube. Did we miss out on this game? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Perhaps fans of Twisted Metal and Vigilante 8 would have been interested in this game, but I don't really know. But that was Retro Studios Football and Thunder Rally. Admittedly, we probably didn't miss out much on Retro Studios Football and Thunder Rally, since there really isn't anything significant about them compared to similar games. I mean, they don't seem terrible, but compared to Madden and other vehicle combat games, they don't really seem that interesting. I mean, I guess fans of those types of games would have missed out. They probably would have been interested, but I don't know. At least for the football game, it probably would have done better if that was more of a Mario football as planned, since that would have been more unique and interesting. But oh well, these games got cancelled and honestly, it's not really the end of the world that happened. At least Metroid Prime came out at the end, and that was a great game. But yeah, this is KSteel of BayaQuest signing out, I'll see you all later. This was a Cobalt Steel video by MS Burning. Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Until next time, see you all later.